there. Simon Lim, player. I've played with Simon several times. He is a very tough player. Really great dude as well. Came into this one as the chip leader. Reigns the chip leader. Oh, you want to get out of the way. Jake, 83, says no thanks. Over to third. Eight deuce, also no thanks on the button. Over to 12 block. They have 6 4, good call. And big line. Now, this is interesting because we're going to see what strategy men decide to go with here. A lot of players take one of these strategies. Uh, they either check back on their hands and they raise the strong stands at the line versus one, or they raise some of their weakest hands and some of their strongest hands. Really dependent on your opponent. Yeah. Bottom pick, say it. This is not the worst word for men to pet. He's a good guy. Watch drop. He's a good guy. Flush drop and then die in the turn there. With that jack of hearts. Hi everybody, uh, back again from the Gardens Casino here in Southern California. Uh, some just tough technical difficulties. This is really cutting into my lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat over here and this this tech stuff. I know. We hope everything's going well with Dave and uh, Jesse. We hope to have them back uh, soon. Uh, but in the meantime, we're here to to fill in. Um, as we see, Sai is up in uh, fourth place now. 36 big blinds. I believe uh, Craig Varnell is a uh, short stack at the table with 16 uh, big blinds at this point. These players are playing for $565,000 up top, plus a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster. They're guaranteed $115,000 right now. And speaking of Craig, here he is with pocket sevens. Hockey sticks. Very good. All in. He moves all in for 1.6 million. Most likely getting a Jared call Jared has ace-king. Question is, will they call or try to isolate? 1.69. Chooses isolate. All in. Or try to isolate. We'll see what happens here as it comes around the corner. Craig is the player at risk here. Two sevens versus Jared's ace king. About as classic of a coin flip as you're going to get. Queen eight five flop. That's clean for Craig as he stays in the lead. Turn is the three of club. Craig maintains his lead. Rivers the ten of clubs and Craig's gonna double up. There we go. Little head nod from Craig. He's gonna get himself off the short stack. Fairly sizable dent to uh, Jared's stack there as well, so mm -hmm. quite an impactful hand. Quickly back from the break. There you see Craig has moved up to 3.45 million. He's in fifth place with 35 big blinds. Basically tied with Sai Ono, who's in fourth place with 125,000 more. And then Jared Griner has fallen to the short stack, 1.4 million. We're playing 50,000, 100,000 with a $100,000 big blind ante. Sorry, 100,000 chip big blind ante. Uh, Jared's got 14 big blinds as the shortest stack. Simon Lamb and Jake Schindler jockeying for the chip lead. More than 50 big blinds each in their stacks. For the last level or two, men uh, was in uh, second place. He slipped a little bit now into third.
mentioned this earlier. Now that Craig's got some ships, you'll you'll start to see he's he's really good at changing gears and uh, well, looking at the situation. So it'll be interesting to see how the next orbit of this table plays out. I've been asked to give a shout out uh -oh. to my alma mater, All Elon right. University. All right. And my buddy Josh Cranville, who is watching from from Elon. What's up, Josh? How you doing? First time I met Josh, knocked him out of a poker tournament on college campus. Felt bad, but you know, <laughs> no friends at the poker table. And now you're giving a shout out. I think it all evens out. <laughs> you know, I almost got expelled from college for running a home game. True story. They called me into the, the dean's office and everything. Always a troublemaker, Donnie. Crazy times, man. I was just trying to play some poker. <laughs> And picks up a pot here with ace three of spades. That flashes that smile to his supporters out in the audience. You'll notice they've taken the 5,000 lemonade color chips off the table. <laughs> yeah, they Just didn't. Just playing with those, uh, we're going to call those blues. Yeah. Smurfs? Papa Smurfs. Papa Smurfs, and then what did you call the, the other Batman? The Batman. The Batman. They remind me of like on, the old Donnie. school Batman with the, the gray and the black, you know, and like it was like pow, kapow, yeah. like showed up on the screen. Yeah. We should incorporate that into this live stream. Yeah. I, These I guys in the back can make that happen. <laughs> I think that would be great. I want to get a sound drop of you saying, I am Batman. Come on. No. <laughs> not going to do it. Jared here with two tens. He's going to move all in on the short stack. Million. Shoving for 1.4 million. Sire right behind him with two nines. Good hand, but she's one upped in this case. Mm -hmm. 1.4 million. Going into the hand, I think uh, Jared had about 16 big blinds. Sire had about 34, 35. This be effectively half her stack if she calls. She chooses to go all in instead. Everyone else folds. Sia looks a little disgusted that uh, her nines are beaten, but what are you going to do in this case? Jared is the one at risk. He's doing a little dance. He's feeling good right now with two tens over the two nines of Sia. We still got five cards to come. Tom Brady swagger. Eight six four. Jared stays in the lead. Looking at these graphics on screen, you see the percentage for Jared to win is at ninety percent. King of clubs on the turn. Jared maintains his lead with two tens. Sai is going to need nine to knock him out. Rivers the ace of clubs. Jared's going to double up. So a couple of double ups here in the few hands to come right out of the break, and we're off and running. It's like you would said, Donnie, action. there was going to be one moment where th action started to get. Yeah, I mean, we just needed to wait a little bit for these, uh, for one, the players to settle in, and, you know, feel each other out a little bit and see who's doing what. Um, likely, given the half an hour delay that's on the stream, you know, some of these players have uh, some friends and, and family that are probably relaying some information to them uh, during the break. I did, I did walk out there and I did see some people with some laptops and some phones. They are watching the stream, so they're probably picking up some information and then relaying them to the uh, their respective players at, at the table, so that probably plays into a little bit. And then, as we discussed earlier, the blinds are higher. Yes. You know, stacks are a little bit shorter. Um, everyone's still pretty deep. Um, Sai is going to be the shortest stack now. Looks like she's got about 2.3 million in her stack. Min here with a suited ace nine. Giving a nice long look at his cards. Squeezing him a little bit like it's the back rat table. He makes it 225,000. Everyone folds and men takes down the pot. Flashes that smile again to his supporters in the crowd.
Challengers Tournament Manager Kevin Quintanilla. Also one half of the creator of the action clock. Correct. Kent McLaren. Kent McLaren. Yes. And Protection Poker. We're going to try to have uh, Kevin join us in the booth here a little bit later on for an interview. And if you're trying to get your WPT fix, if you come down to the Gardens Casino, it's a WPT branded poker room. Um, bigger than life size uh, photos of Vince, Lynn, Phil Helmuth, Tony Dunst. All year round WPT tournament room where you can play satellites to win your way into any WPT main event. I think I'm going to have to take advantage of that once or twice. Jared Lim's in here from the small blind with ace eight. Sai checks her option in the big blind with 10 four off. Sai's gonna flop two pair on the 10 six five flop. <laughs> Jared checks. Sia bets. Looks like 150,000. Get some value out of this. Jared doesn't want to go anywhere just yet. He makes the call. We talked about this earlier. Saya is new to tournament poker, uh, but very experienced in cash games. And she was making the comparison between the two, saying that she felt in tournament it was more about the pre-flop decisions in the interview she did with uh, Live Updates yesterday. Uh, then cash games was more post-flop. So a textured board like this, this is where I feel like her experience, and maybe she feels more comfortable in situations like this where other players may feel it's a marginal situation or it's a bit thin. Uh, she really seems to be comfortable in these types of situations. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I think would make her feel uncomfortable is the fact that she doesn't have as many chips as she did before. Correct. So a little bit less maneuverability, but still deep enough to be able to uh, bet flop, hand out bet turn here. She's betting 350000 on the turn. Action is on Jared. He doesn't really look like he wants to go anywhere just yet. But he does give it up. Sai is going to take this one down, take back some of the chips that she just handed over to Jared recently when she doubled him up. Smiles all around for Jared and Saya. It looked like he asked if he had bluffed her, or if she had bluffed him. He's still trying to... Of course. The answer is always, of course. The answer is <laughs> always, of course. Yes, I'm always bluffed. Not I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry, John. I don't remember. remember. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to put it out into the comments here. S right back, if you know that reference that Donnie just made. What what movie is that from? Okay. We'll, we'll see how many I was gonna I was going to say something about that movie, yeah. so I won't. I'll wait yeah. for, for people to, to talk. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So the comment is, sorry, John. I don't remember. What movie is that from? And extra points if you can say who said it. Jared here is on the button with King 3 of hearts. He raises. Makes it 225,000. The answers are starting to come in now, Sam. All right. Tobias firing off with the weekend with, with Bernie. First of all, it's, it's weekend at Bernie's. Okay. And that is also not correct. <laughs> so I, like I like that movie. Try again, Tobias, please. See everyone else's comments because it is Rounders, the most famous poker movie ever. Interestingly enough, this September coming up mm -hmm. will be the 20th anniversary, I believe, for no Rounders. Way. It was uh, first first came out in 1998. It's 2018, so 20 years. Incredible. 
Uh, I just saw Brian Koppelman, uh, mm -hmm. two of our events over in New York City. We were there for a special event with, with Baccarat Crystal okay. uh, right on Madison Avenue. And then we were also there the next night uh, for Education Reform Now's ninth annual Take Them to School uh, charity poker tournament that raised uh, just about $700,000. Fantastic. Uh, that event, the second event with, with Education Reform Now, is in conjunction with WPT Foundation, the World Poker Tour's charitable arm, uh, who, which has raised more than $14 million now since it's uh, been established for, for, more than, uh, for more than 30 charities around the world. Brian Koppelman was at both of those events. No, he is not writing the sequel to Rounders. I asked him for all the fans out there. <laughs> but I don't think it needs a sequel. I'm one of those guys that, I listen, it was too good. Don't ruin it with it's a sequel. True. It's true. Certain movies are made to have sequels, yep. and I get at the end, Matt Damon was going to Vegas and it was gonna be he was gonna go try and win the World Series of Poker. Let's just leave it as the unknown. Absolutely. It was the best way to end that film. Simon here with top pair. He's holding the 10-4 on a 10-9-6 two diamonds board. Saya's got a flush draw though with her queen five of diamonds. Going to the turn, king of clubs. Simon's gonna check over to Saya. Let's see if she elects to bet. She does. Simon sticks around, makes the call. The pot is at 1.2 million, going to the river. Five of spades. That locks this one up for Simon. As long as he doesn't pull, he checks over to Saya. Her stack, her stack looks around 1.9 million behind. Checks and San so Simon, sorry, he's going to take this one down. Just sitting next to Sam. <laughs> Simon's at the table. Sam, Simon. Simon says. Simon Lamb is 29 years old, originally from Brooklyn, New York. A lot of experience playing on the East Coast. He came in fourth in the season 15 WPT Borgata Poker Open for $250,000. Ahead of this event, had nearly $1.4 million in live tournament earnings. He's adding at least $115,000 to that with this final table appearance today. He's a business owner. He owns a Rolling Deep Ice Cream. Out here in Costa Mesa, he recently located from the East Coast to the West Coast. I believe he told me yesterday that uh, Irvine is his new home. Yeah. So uh, and he Irvine, said home that, to uh, WPT headquarters, and also the new home to Simon Lim. And he said he was going to use the money if he wins uh, to open up a new uh, ice cream store. That's the way to do it, man. Take your poker winnings, try and parlay them into some sort of business that can just make you money, and then play poker without that pressure of you know constantly having to make money. You got Jake here with two fours. He opens it to 225,000. Men's giving him the eye on the button with 10 9 off, but he elects mm -hmm. to fold. Mm -hmm. Simon folds the 10 4 from a small blind. Craig in the big blind with nine eight off makes the call. Mm -hmm. 10 10 6 flop. Check from Craig. Jake with two pair, still has the best hand, but the percentages are pretty close. Craig's got two overs. Craig can make a counterfeited two pair to with a six. He can also make a straight, so he checks. Jake bets 150,000. Craig makes the call. Little tester bets there. 
Nine of clubs on the turn, and that gives Craig the lead. He checks. Last time in this situation, Craig flashed a smile to Jake. Doesn't, doesn't look like he either wants to smile in this situation. Check back from Jake. Seven of spades on the river. That gives Craig a straight, improves his hand even more. He fires 225,000. <laughs> It gives it up. Craig's going to take this one down. Well, we think we have uh, Dave and Jesse back from Las Vegas. Uh, if you're just joining us, we had some technical difficulties earlier. Um, we're going to uh, look to try to reach out to them uh, shortly. Um, and we're also looking to get Kevin Quintanilla in for an interview a little bit later on. So we'll keep you posted on that. here at WPT Gardens Poker Festival. This is the uh, kickoff event of Season 17 of the World Poker Tour here at the wonderful Gardens Casino. Kevin's still in my line. I was just going to say that. We hear him in the background. Queen Jack suited for Saya, one of my, my personal favorite hands. Especially in spades. I mean, anything in spades just looks better. Really? Yeah, man. Come on. I never got superstitious. I don't have a favorite hand. Oh. Learn. Learn to get superstitious. Uh, I'd lose too much money with a superstition. Sai makes it 200000 to go. One of my favorite responses is that, do you have any superstitions? No, I don't believe in them. I think they're bad luck. <laughs> I love it. Jay giving it a little bit of thought here from the big blind with 8-6 off. It's only a min raise from Saya. But he elects to give it up. Saya's going to take this one down. Saya Ono, 31 years old, originally from China, now calls Southern California home. She refers to the Gardens Casino as her home casino. Cash game player by trade, but has been dabbling more and more in tournaments. Uh, over the last year, making a nice run here, so we could very likely see her and many more to come. Yes. Uh, just given this run. She was the chip leader entering day four when 46 players remain. And if she wins today, she'll be the second uh, woman to win an open WPT main event title, uh, joining Emma Zimovic, who was the first woman to win an open WPT main event title, which was last season. <laughs> Craig here with two sixes on the button, and he raises it up, makes it 250,000. Jake with a much bigger pair, two queens in the small blind. Jake waits until the 10 second warning, mm -hmm. as he has been doing for mm -hmm. most of this final table. It makes it 900,000 to go on the three bet.
Krug looks to have about 3.3 million behind. Throws in a time extension chip, give himself an extra 30 seconds here. Now when he tosses out the chip, he doesn't lose the 10 seconds he had left. That 30 seconds is added on top of it automatically, so he doesn't lose anything by tossing it out earlier. I mean, Craig knows here that Jake is an aggressive player, a really good, experienced player, so he doesn't necessarily have to have him beat. He could be making a move, for the lack of a better term mm -hmm. here. So there is some next level dynamics going into this situation where some people might think this is just kind of a quick and easy fold for, for Craig, but he did think it over. He ended up giving it up in the end. Jake's gonna take this one down with two queens. Craig gives him a little smile as to say, you know, man, did you, did you pull one over on me there? <laughs> what, what's, what's going on? And Jake just uh, calmly collects his chips and stacks them up. <laughs> Jake's up to 4.85 million in chips. Good for second place on the leaderboard right now. That's where he came into the day behind Simon Lamb. See Min Win right there. 63 year old, originally from Vietnam, now resides in Southern California. Chips falling all over the place. No, he has not had any Coronas yet today. No WPT title for, for Min Win. Does have seven WS Big Old bracelets. More than $10.6 million in live tournament earnings. But not uh, not too much to show on the, on the WPT. He's made a couple final tables. So he hasn't really been around too much recently on the World Poker Tour in terms of uh, going deep, making some big runs, but he's here today competing for the $565,000 top prize. Play folds here to Jared. He calls from the small blind. Sire with King Jack in the big blind. She's the st shortest stack remaining right now. She announces that she's all in. And Jared folds. there over the chips but it's been sorted out. Uh, earlier we were asking everybody where they are from uh, watching the stream in the comments and uh, the World Poker Tour we're putting the world in World Poker Tour. Uh, our next immediate event uh, in on the main tour is going to be in Oklahoma, Choctaw Durant, uh, but we have an Asian swing coming up uh, with WPT Japan, Korea and Vietnam. Yes. Coming up later this year. For more information, you guys can check out WPT.com. Latest news, information, schedules, all the good stuff from the World Poker Tour. That's WPT.com. Check in there regularly. Honestly, just, just make it your homepage in your browser. Make that's, it easy. That's the best way to do it. Wake up, reach for the phone. We're the only tour that matters. Let's be serious here. Craig's got Queen 10 off. He makes it. 250k to go. Men's in the big blind with 9-7 off. Makes the call. King, queen, five, two diamonds. Craig maintains his lead, improves to a pair of queens. Not much of anything on that flop for men. Deliberate with his actions, he checks over to Craig. Craig fires 250,000. Can only imagine men's gonna fold. Looks like he's giving the dealer an eye as to say, what on earth did you put out there in the middle of the, <laughs> the felt? And I can't really work with that. 
He gives it up. Craig's gonna take this one down. Men has not been winning too many pots at this final table. No, but he's still, I believe, in top top three. Chip. chip yes, I mean, you know, could be some other activities Spend. going into his chip stack, staying the same, but uh, we won't talk too much about that. He's he's, he's been winning a couple pots here and there. There you see the payouts, $115,000 for sixth place, that's what all of these players are guaranteed. Top prize, 565 dimes, plus a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster, courtesy of the Guards Casino. They'll also become the leader in the Season 17 Heat Blow Player of the Year race and earn an entry into the season-ending WPT Tournament of Champions. Now, not many people think that it matters too much, the the grabbing these early points in the Hublot mm -hmm. WPT Player of the Year race, but we've seen in the past couple seasons that getting out to that early start really does go a long way. Yes. You know, we saw it last year. Uh, ben Zamani won, won, or sorry, Ben Zamani was two years ago, uh, got off to a really good start in those first couple of events, seemed to be ma making the final table of every single one as we see Saya moves all in here and picks up the pot pre-flop with a shove with Ace Queen. Um, he was able to ride out that win all the way to the end, uh, Ben Zamani that is. And then last season, our Papazian scored first place in the Legends of Poker early in the season. Mm -hmm. uh, went on to win a second title less than a month later in Maryland and then rode that lead out uh, all the way to a Hublot WPT Player of the Year victory. So it is, it is important to get out to that early yeah. lead, at least in these, these recent seasons. And uh, we'll see this season if that, that trend keeps up if you know one of these players here goes on to get the win they'll lock up 1200 points in the race and then can go a bit deeper So we've got Simon and Craig seeing a flop, Jack 10-8. Simon in the lead with ace high, he checks, Craig checks behind with four high. Four high. Deuce of spades on the turn. Simon check, checks, and Craig elects to bet 150,000. Simon makes the call. River is the king of hearts. Simon checks. And Craig checks. Simon's going to take it down with Ace High. Simon shows an Ace of Clubs and a Three of Clubs. And Craig's going to take that one down. Small pot. Good structure. Could be here a while. Could be. We were here. Be here a while. We were here late last night or early this morning. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. It all seems to blend together at this point. 4 a.m. these players were playing too until we lost. Jesse Yaganuma in seventh place. He fell when he ran ace king into the pocket aces of Saya Ono. Thank you for everyone who's tuning in. This is the final table of the WPT Gardens Poker Festival main event. $5,000 buy-in, 584 entries, prize pool nearly $3 million, 2.944 to be exact. If that math doesn't quite add up, that's because it shouldn't. The uh, Gardens Casino added $200,000 in cash to the prize pool, and they are also giving away 
a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster to the winner of this event. So that will go along with the $565,000 top prize the champion will take home at some point today. Right maybe in tomorrow. style. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Is that the reverse jinx? I mean, it could go either way. We did I start this thing at 4 o'clock, so. Yeah. <laughs> Men here with Jack Six. He hasn't been playing too many hands. Could be getting a little antsy. Raises it up to 250000 with Jack Six off. We did see him earlier think it over with Jack Deuce of Spades, so maybe he just has a thing for these really bad Jacks. Simon's going to elect a three bet with Ace Eight of Hearts. So makes it 650k. Craig's got two nines on the button. He wants to do something here. Just Looks how like far he's does he want to push? 3.3 million in his stack. Craig gives it up. It's for a better spot. Grimace there a little bit. Man again does not look too pleased. It's just one of those spots where he tried to get in there, pick up the chips pre-flop, maybe win it on the flop, but he got three bet. He's gonna have to give it up. Okay. Simon's gonna take this one. There too, I think a hand like that uh, with the action clock it helps it a little bit. There's no Hollywooding. You're only going to have 30 seconds to make your decision. Oh, it's oh, great. Yeah. Get this thing moving. Yeah. And keep it moving. Now all I can think of is Batman, Donnie thinks, every time one of those stack of chips are there. And Papa Smurf and Papa with the Papa Smurf. Are we there yet, Papa Smurf? <laughs> tries his hand at raising again, makes it 225 with ace 10 off from under the gun. Holds to Jake on the button, he picks up two sevens. He makes the call. Jared gives up the 10-9 on the small blind. Size coming along from the big blind with the queen eight of spades. We're gonna go three ways to this flop. Queen, deuce, deuce, and Saya takes the lead. She checks. Men, the pre-flop aggressor. Let's see what he's going to do here. He checks. See what everyone else is doing. Here we go. 250,000 is the bet from Jake. In position on his two opponents, Saya and Men. Saya to act now. She has the best hand currently with two pair. Queens and deuces with an eight kicker. Saya also the shortest stack remaining, I believe. Jared might now be the short stack mm -hmm. after that one confrontation that they had. They all that ran. is true. That is true. We'll get a leaderboard update at some point. Saya check raises, makes it 750,000. Men gets out of the way. Action back over to Jake. Second time extension. The action clock not only in play here at the final table, but started one table outside the money, so it helps that transition of going into the money bubble. Okay. 
Jake makes the call. Quite a big pot brewing here. More than 2.3 million in the middle. Turn cutter is the five of spades. Sai with just over 1.5 million behind. She announces that she's all in. So the ranking on the left shows where each player ranked at the start of the hand. You'll see that Jake has fewer chips than third place listed there, but that's because that's how many chips he has behind. So that's updated in real time as we're going through the hand. Extra 30 seconds for Jake here as he throws in a time extension chip. Making this call would cost him about 40% of his remaining stack. Another time extension chip for Jake. I'm really putting him to the decision here. Well, size, size sizing after she check raised the flop is, is really good. Mm -hmm. He's probably debating her if she just has over cards. And she check raised to a nice amount, 750 over the top of Jake's 250,000 flop bet, and then had a nice amount to shove into 2.3 with 1.5. So Jake knows it looks good, but that doesn't mean it is good. And that sizing, you're right, that's, that's what's confusing here. He's playing through the whole scenario from what started not only on this hand but there were similar situations late last night that the two of them were in where they use multiple time extension chips and I'm sure he's going through not only this hand but the last few days of how they played against each other. Likely debating whether or not Saya has a queen. If she did have a queen why wouldn't she just let, let Jake barrel off as he was the aggressor on the flop. Jake ends up folding. Saya's going to take this one down. Very, very nice pot for her. Jake left with 3.6 million. And ultimately he, he made the right decision, took some time to, to make it. Still Off 36 it. big blinds for him. Saya picked up 1.25 million on that hand. As you see on the screen from our graphic here, 48% increase to her stack from one hand. Really nice boost.